the winner of the 2013 New South Wales Business Innovation Award is Annie Brown Jones. Guys, it's a long way from Wollombar to Sydney. <laughs> from a very small regional country town that now I discovered relies on my factory to keep ourselves employed. <laughs> what can I say? If you're going to eat food, please make sure it comes from Australia, hey? Yep. Look, this is a really great honour um, to be, be a, a, a nominated to starters. I was quite surprised my local member of parliament nominated me. It was quite amazing that when I got the phone call to say, um, you've been shortlisted. It's been quite a tough pro process, and for someone who's from the bush, even though we export from around the world, I very rarely get to meet such incredibly talented, amazing women who have, are doing things outside of my realm but are being successful. So for someone like myself, when I go back to Moorlumba, I'm going to look around for the next person from northern New South Wales, the next woman, to try have a try at succeeding at these awards. I think it's quite important. What do I do? I cook. I'm a cook. And the reason I cook is my mother cooked. Um, many, many years ago, I realised that what we were eating with was quite an issue, and how did I discover it? I had a delightful, and let me tell you a little story. I had a delightful three-year-old son who we popped along to the traditional Christmas party from my, his older sister's preschool. Now, at the time, we lived in Barrel. So where was the Christmas party? It was out in the sheep shack, out the back, in the paddock. So the boys could get dirty and run around. And we walked in, you've got the big table in the middle of the room with all those lovely things like sausage rolls, sweets and cakes. Cup of teas for mum in the corner. So mums, we stood around and we just had tea and coffee and chatted. And I'm a very responsible parent. I completely ignored my children. <laughs> Unbeknownst to me, my darling three-year-old son was very busy standing at the table feeding his face. Now he had very little exposure to this because uh, we had a farm, we grew, I cooked. He hadn't eaten much of this sort of things. He didn't have colours or flavours or preservatives. So I grabbed Jason and I popped him in the car to take him home and he's a little agitated. And by the time I've got home, my dear little three-year-old is thrashing. And I looked at his sister and, and she said, well, you know he's not supposed to have colours and flavours and sugars. He's just eaten lots of those. Uh, and I, so I rang my mum, as you do. I said, mum, what did I do? And she said, so you need to understand why I taught you to eat good, healthy food. Colours, flavours and preservatives are bad for you. Henceforth, in 1999, I took my passion for really good cooking and I, I made um, what I think is a... <laughs> I didn't think about it. I actually... I just decided to open a factory. So I learned, <laughs> as you do, um, and I did it in Moolamba, you know, somewhere close to machinery and to suppliers. And while I was at it, why not go organic? And I did that because I, had a, I said to a fellow who had a larger food company in Brisbane, I want to go organic. And he said, oh, I wouldn't do that, doll. <laughs> and, and, you know, I didn't realise then I do now. If you say no to me, I just go and do it. You know, don't say no to Annie. She'll just do it anyway. She's a bit mad. I, um, I bought the machinery with the help of my father. God love him. Dad's an engineer who knew what a piece of stainless steel was and it should look like. We'd put together what is still a manufacturing facility. Uh, I learned to ride a forklift. I learned to just develop products. And the things we do are certified, organic, gluten-free, dairy-free, low-fat, low-salt, halal and kosher. So, you know, if you've got any allergies, we can help you. <laughs> um, I have not done this by myself. I have a great team. Sitting over this table is the most amazing woman, Maxine, who, when we nearly went broke eight years ago, literally saved the company. You can't run a business and an innovative business in a difficult, bus in a, in a difficult working environment without great people and without great family. And also, without having the faith of Australia's largest supermarket who came to us four years ago and asked us to develop products under the macro chain. Um, so I now make the macro brand out of northern New South Wales. 20... <laughs> and I'll, I'll let you know when that happened was four years ago when the GFC hit. We were exporting overseas and suddenly 
there is no business overseas. So I say a daily thank you to Woolworths for having the faith in a small food manufacturer to let us put product on 1,200 shelves and also give 22 jobs in a country town. What else do we do? We now do, you're going to be able to very soon get Australia's first certified organic two-minute noodle. Wow. Ooh, yeah. You'll get, you know, we're going to give you cup noodles so you don't have to feel guilty. You don't care what your kids eat anymore. It's good for them. Well, you know, we, we've developed, last year, um, we developed, would you believe, charcoal noodles. They won best new product in the world wow. in Germany. Wow. We're in the process of doing certified organic coconut milk ice cream. Every time I see something new because the organic industry has grown, that's what we're going to do. Give you better food, give you better options so that you've got better health. Yep. And how did I do it? It's about my passion, my team, and also best advice my mother ever gave me. 1999, she said, sweetheart, you live up in Mwollomba. Lot, very close to Byron Bay, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. She said, so let me tell you this. You can sell organic food in a suit. If you look a professional woman and you don't look like you live in Nimbin, you can sell organic food. <laughs> yeah. I have to say thank you to Telstra. Well, guess where we're going to take all our business now? <laughs> to the sponsors, to the judges who, um, particularly with Mrs. Mrs. Switzer, really asked me some difficult questions and made me think about my business. Um, and I have to say thank you to all of you coming. You've recognised something that I didn't think was um, something we'd, we'd be here with. I think what we did is I do this because I love it. Every single day I want to see you people eat good food. And remember, if you eat organic food and you eat Australian-made organic food, it's not only good for your health, but it's good for the health of your planet. Thanks. Thanks.